In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about equals operator and equals method. And also we are going to see the differences between equals method and equals operator with some examples. So first let us start with equals operator. Equals operator compares the references if both references are pointing to same object then it returns true. If both references are pointing to two different objects then it returns false. It compares the references. If, if both the references are pointing to same object then it returns true. If both the references are pointing to two different objects then it returns false. Let us start with an example here. So just I created a class person, take a main method, create two person objects here, P1, is one and one more person which is P2 here. I am using equals operator on P1, P2. This operator compares references of P1 and P2. That is, if P1, P2 is pointing to same object, then it returns true. If P1, P2 are referring to two different objects, then it returns false. In our code, P1 is different object, which is different memory. P2 is a different object which is a different memory. So it's going to return false in this case. You execute the program and check the results here. See, the output is false because P1, P2 are two different person objects here. So it's returning false. This is case 1. Well, let's consider case 2. Let us have two references pointing to same object. And let us compare both the references using equals operator. And let us check the output of that. So instead of creating one more person, I am assigning P1 back to P2 here. In this code, we created only one person object and P1 is referring to that person and same person P1 is also assigned to P2. So P1, P2 are two different references pointing to a same person. Pointing to a same person. Now, this is going to return true. See that it's going to return true. So equals operator compares the references P1, P2. If both are pointing to same object or same memory, it is going to return true. If P1 and P2 are pointing to two different objects or two different memories, and it's going to return a false. Generally, we expect these concepts in interviews. They'll ask what's output of this saying P1 double equals P2 here. So that is the behavior of your equals operator when we apply them on references. Now, let us discuss about how equals method works when we use or when we call equals method on one object by passing the reference of other object. See P1 dot equals of P2.
p1 dot equals of p2 now i am calling equals method on person but in person we don't have any equals method here by default object is parent of all java classes so the parent of person here is going to be object object class has equals method now this is going to execute equals method present in the object let us execute this code and check the results later we are going to discuss how it works there yeah it is returning a false okay now coming to equals method equals method can be present in any class if your class is not providing equals method and it's going to be there in your object and that's going to be inherited to your class now the behavior of equals method in object is it also works like your equals operator it is also going to compare your references if both references are pointing to same object it returns true otherwise it returns false so in this case p1 is referring to different person memory p2 is referring to different person memory and it's going to return false and it's going to return false right now there are certain classes which override equals method according to their need for example one class which overrides equals method is your string class in string class equals method is overridden and what it does is it compares the content of your string if content is same and it is going to return true if content is different and it's going to return false so i am creating two string objects here string 1 whose content is java string 2 whose content is also java this is a different string object and this is a different string object but the content of string is same in this case now let us call s1 dot equals of s2 in earlier case we called p1 dot equals of p2 there was no equals method in our person so it used equals method in object equals method in object compares the references like your equals operator that we discussed now we are calling equals method on string object so as i said string overrides this equals method so equals in string is called the behavior of equals in string is it compares the content of string objects not the objects itself in this case the content of s1 and content of s2 is same so it's going to return true it's going to return true yeah so this is how equals method in string works so even in your custom classes you can go and override equals according to your business requirement so remember equals method in object compares the references 
if you if you don't want that behavior in your class you can go and override equals in your class and you can provide the functionality according to your business need so please keep in mind when equals method is used on objects you have to check which equals is called is it equals from object or is it equals from any other class and based on that you can figure out what's going to be the output of that particular code i think this session helped you to understand how equals operator works when we use references and how equals method works that is equals in object and equals in string thank you so much